Hey there, Maniacs viewers, you're watching the Main Man Channel. It's not just the name's way of life. You have to improvise, adapt, and overcome each and every day just making it in this cruel old world. Appreciate y'all watching. Always like, share, and subscribe. Check me out on Parlor, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, OozeTube, GunStreamer, GunTube, Gab, Getter. I appreciate all the support there. And if you feel called to, check me out on Patreon. I could always use the help there. I want to thank each and every one of y'all. I love y'all. My maniacs, my viewers, y'all the best people in the world. I thank you. Now, you're going to hear a little bit of background noise because the girlfriend's putting a shoe rack together on the other side of the house. And uh, the reason I'm not helping her is because she got it and it had a little rubber hammer to knock the dowels in and everything. She's having a good time doing it. So, anyway, I figured I'd film a video. Now, this is not the, not the kind of video I would normally film, uh, but, it, you know, we are a variety channel and expect the unexpected from the main man channel. But anyway, this is some uh, breaking news, folks. Uh, federal immigration. Yes, I'm reading the article. Agents. Okay. Federal immigration agents to end practice of worksite raids. Okay. So before we get into the article, and before we talk to my opinions about it, let's go from there. Let's go from some of my real world experience about what's going on and stuff. All right. So even back in the early 2000s, when I actually started getting into manufacturing and production work, uh, I worked in a lot of different companies. And a couple of these companies are were well several of them actually are like household names of different items and everything and this hap is happened a lot in a lot of factories around here and everything what happens is the federal immigration service comes in and every now and then they do an audit they look at the employees records they check the i9s and well they check different things but what they notice is is sometimes like 30 people and the reason I say like 30 people because it usually is 30 people at a time it doesn't and I have had this happen at four or five different factories to know that it happened and uh, they use the same social security number why did they use the same social security number because 29 of these folks are illegal So, what happens a lot of time is federal immigration agents come in there and they do a raid. They know they notice that all that is done, and then they get those thirty people. And I don't know what they did to what they did to them in the past. You know, if they locked them up, they actually deported them right then. What they did, but they, you know, they lost their job at where they were working because they were not licensed to work there. They were not legal to work in the U.S. They had not taken the proper procedures to be able to work in the U.S., obtaining a work visa or whatever they needed. And this is not about race or anything like that. Uh, a lot of times it was folks from south of the border, but I'm sure, you know, in other parts of the U.S., it's folks from north of the border uh, folks from overseas and everywhere and I'm sure this has happened several times throughout history but I'm leaving the link to this article in the description so y'all can check it out but uh, I'm going to read it to you real quick federal immigration agents will end mass workplace arrest of immigrant employees suspected of living in the U.S. without legal permission according to a memo issued Tuesday by Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. Instead of the focus will shift to be pursuing unscrupulous employers who exploit the vulnerability of undocumented workers and emphasize fighting worker abuse, including paying substandard wages and unsafe, unsafe working conditions and human trafficking. The three-page memo directs the heads of the Immigration Customs 
Enforcement and Customs and Border Protection and the Citizenship and Immigration Services to draw up a plan within two months to increase employer penalties, encourage workers to report unscrupulous practices without fear, and coordinate with other agencies such as the Department of Labor. Mass worksite raids were common under the former President Donald Trump. Okay, so that right there, let's just stop a second. Worksite raids happened under all presidencies that I know. Until now. Keyword, until now. Now, they may have picked up when Donald Trump was in office because he was tough on illegal immigration, but they happened under every presidency I've been alive under, and I've known about several of them, personally, in my area. All right. And other Republican presidents defended raids as strong deterrents against illegal immigration, while workers' groups called them unfair and discriminatory. For instance, most of the 680 workers arrested at chicken plants run by companies including Illinois based Cock Foods were Latino. Tuesday's move away from the raids were, excuse me, Tuesday's move away from the raids more closely resembles the approach by former President Barack Obama, who largely avoided such operations limiting workplace immigration efforts to low profile audits. Okay, so they're saying that they're going to increase the penalties for large companies for having illegal workers there. That's not what they're going to do. Basically, folks, they're not going to have the agents going out and raiding and everything. And if you don't have the agents going out and raiding and everything, they're not going to actually follow up on any reports or anything like that. So what that's doing is, folks, you know every business, every business in this country, unless it's a one-man show or a two-man show, and that's how it's supposed to be, and even they probably need some help. <laughs> I mean, you know, this YouTube channel is me and my cousin Carl. We could always use some help. And uh, we all know Cousin Carl's real and always behind the camera and the producer and everything. But anyway, that being said, folks, all businesses in this country right now are short-handed and need workers. Whether they can pay those workers or not, you know, it is what it is, but they need workers. And... You know, how many uh, restaurants are closed and only drive through only because they can't staff the restaurant? They can only keep maybe two people there a shift or whatever. Uh, how many restaurants are short waitresses and all that good stuff? How many factories are short workers? Uh, I don't know, folks. It seems like they're going to use these illegal workers to fill the gaps. And these companies are going to do it because they ain't got no other choice. They got to have workers so they make money and line their pockets and go home. The CEOs and the big wigs of these companies. Some of them. Now, there's going to be a lot of reputable companies out there that's not going to do this. But you figure a lot of companies that have ties to President Joe Biden, they are probably. We can't just move the camera. They are probably going to uh, use all these folks south of the border and from the islands south of us and probably fill some gaps for people who refuse to take the vaccine and just gaps because there ain't enough workers. And they're going to say, hey, we got you in here. We got you a job. Remember the vote Democrat. So that's what's going to happen, folks. So we got to stay vigilant, keep an eye out. And when we see something like that, we got to we got to get the information out there. And the reason I went ahead and jumped on this, this is hot off the press right now. And it's important, folks. And this article I read it from is from the Associated Press. Yes, that's why they act like it's a good thing. And they act like it's really going to help by doing this. Well, it's not. There's a lot of cover-up in it. And everything. So that being said, 
I just thought I'd share that with y'all and get that information out there. And uh, this is important, folks. You know, I am not anti-vaccine. I've had two. I'm fixing to have the third. But I am anti-forced vaccine. Anybody that don't want to take it shouldn't have to be able to take it. Now, the county I work in is different than the county I live in. I don't know if they pass it, but the county I work in, uh, they passed a law where businesses did not have to require employees to get vaccinated in that county. So it's kind of like a Second Amendment sanctuary law, but it's a second, it's a vaccine sanctuary law, So, which is pretty cool, you know, for those that choose not to get it. I chose to get it. That's my business. Uh, but for y'all that don't choose to get it, you know, like I say, I do not support uh, mandatory vaccines. If y'all don't want it, you don't have to get it. But I'm also going to say this too. In my opinion, this is not the mark of the beast, the vaccine is not. Y'all can think what you want to on that. But I thought the information needed to be out there, you know, that they're not going to do big time raids at these big companies anymore to see if they got illegal workers. So if they're not going to do big time raids, then it sounds like they're going to use illegal workers, some of these companies that are not as reputable, to uh, fill in gaps that they already got, and more, and they'll have more when they start requiring the vaccine. So it is what it is, folks, and. I want to keep y'all informed when I hear something like that. I want to get it out there. Thank y'all. I love y'all. I'll catch you next time.